Uh, hello, uh, scanner enthusiasts. Let's talk about antennas and how important antennas are. So let me just go over my configuration here. Um, this is a P25 scanner, the SDS 200 unit in. It's uh, programmed to get uh, local PDs uh, around the Phoenix Valley. Now this is the other P25996 unit in. This is programmed to get PDs but also uh, Sheriff's Department and ADOT and a couple other things that run on a P25 system. Uh, down here we have the oh, BC15 I believe. This is uh, programmed to do DPS and we have the air radio up here that runs at about 123. Uh, megahertz for the local helicopters and this is my fire radio that runs at about 155 megahertz so important they're all going to use different antennas because you want to use a band specific antenna uh, for example p25 usually runs around 800 megahertz uh, 800 megahertz i believe is 33 centimeter bandwidth um, or 30 30 centimeters if you look at the, um, or 33, I'm sorry, I get mixed up here. Uh, so it's about 30 because 33 is about 900 megahertz. Um, and then you have your 2 meter, which is at about 144 to 148 megahertz, which is uh, the fire at, is at 155 megahertz. So slightly above the 2 meter band. And I'm not sure what band the 125 megahertz is for the helicopters. Uh, but the DPS band for the state police, uh, they run at about 460 megahertz, and that's uh, pretty close to 70 centimeter bandwidth, which is uh, 420 to 450 megahertz in ham radio. That's the 7 centimeters. So maybe 71, 72 centimeters. Now, <clears throat> those band names, 2 meter, 70 centimeters, 33 centimeters, they mean something. It's the antenna length. That's what it means. Uh, you have a quarter, you can have a half or three eighths. So it's divisible. It, 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 it's uh, mathematically, um, I don't know what the words for it is, but if you have a full antenna, for example, um, 800 megahertz, which is what the P25 runs off of, a full um, 800 megahertz antenna should be about one foot two inches. And cut in half, that's about seven inches. So you could get away with a seven inch antenna, which is actually, I believe this is a three inch, which is a quarter wavelength. This is a, a three inch, 800 megahertz antenna I use for this P25 here. Um, here we have a, this one runs at 460. I use this to monitor DPS. This antenna is a little longer. For 460, at half wavelength, you're going to have one foot, which is pretty long. So, of course, they make them. Um, this one looks about six inches, which is a quarter wavelength for 460 megahertz. Very specific, very band specific. You get the best reception when you have a band specific antenna. All these antennae here, all these radios, I'm sorry, have very specific antennas set to the frequencies that they're monitoring. Now you can get away sometimes with having a single antenna doing two different bands if they're close enough. For example, a 460 uh, megahertz uh, full um, band, uh, full wavelength antenna is about two feet, right? Uh, for 155 megahertz, which is what uh, fire runs on, uh, the full antenna is six foot, but a uh, a third wave antenna is about 1.6 or a quarter wave. No, the third wave. I'm sorry, is about 1.6. Uh, so this antenna would cover both the 155 megahertz and also the 460 quite well. It's not perfect. It won't fit exactly to the uh, centimeters or the millimeters, but it it will cover both bands fairly well. Uh, antennas uh, that get sent with the handheld 
Unit ins are this little duck here. It's got a little element inside that's a small one. And then it's surrounded by a coiled spring-like antenna that's supposed to pick up the longer bands. It sucks. It's a multi-band antenna, but it's garbage. Get a better antenna. Don't ever use the duck that comes with the uh, unit in handhelds. The bases come with a much better antenna. Uh, the telescoping antenna here. Uh, for example, this is about six inches. That is almost perfect, uh, a little bit longer for a half wavelength at 800 megahertz. So if you pull this out to, it, it should be about seven inches. So if you pull that out about that much, seven inches, and hook that up to your scanner that's running P25 800 megahertz, that should be a perfect bandwidth for your uh, antenna. Don't ever oh, totally take it out if you're running um, your uh, your P25 800 megahertz because it's that's not what it's for. This is for when you're monitoring like air traffic. You want to keep it nice and shorter like that so it fits the actual bandwidth. Uh, I know some people are going to argue. I don't know what I'm talking about. But you could do the research, look at the bandwidth, look at the antennas, how long they're supposed to be for the frequencies that you're monitoring. I guarantee you'll get a lot better reception. Uh, this Motorola duck antenna, I use this with the uh, P25 uh, down here, and it's great. It works great. It's about 15 bucks, and it's made specifically for 800 megahertz. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, set up with your crazy scanner thing like I have here. So my neighbors think I'm some kind of KGB spy, and your friends will think you're a lunatic. And wonder why you got so many scanners and why you need to monitor everything. But hey, that's our hobby. That's what we do. Enjoy doing it. Get the best reception you can. Get a band specific antenna. Do a little research. Look at how the how you can cut it. You can actually go online. Say you have a car antenna like this, and you have a very specific band you want to monitor. You can actually go online and look up antenna calculator, and it will tell you exactly how long this antenna needs to be. You could actually cut this antenna to that exact size, and you'll get better reception. So, just a little, uh, little tip on radios and how to uh, get the most out of them. Hope you uh, learned something. And, you know, challenge me on it. I'm, I'm open to uh, where I might be wrong or do better. So, uh, thanks for watching.